Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna touch it, I'm gonna touch it, I'm gonna give it. Ooh. I don't know if I'm ready for this. Do I need some kind of sunglasses? I don't freaking know. Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Kiriel and today I'm going to be testing something that I should have tested ages ago that is so hyped and that has become such a cult product on YouTube and that is the one, the only, Anastasia Beverly Hills Amrezy Highlighter. I have not tried this yet. I bought it on the second relaunch. I really had to buy it because I really wanted it the first time around. I heard that it suits a lot of skin tones so fingers crossed it suits my pale ass. <laughs> Anastasia and Amrezy came out with a collaboration for a highlighter a while back now. I believe it was was it the beginning of 2018? Possibly the beginning of 2018. And it was such a big hit that they decided to relaunch it again. And ever since it hit the market, everyone was going crazy for the formula. Everyone was going blind because it was so crazy reflective. And I have just been longing to get it to my collection. And now I do, so I'm quite excited. And I really wanted to compare it to my favorite, which is the Doll Beauty at the moment. This is a stunning highlight like so freaking blinding it's a similar shade i believe it's got that kind of champagne shade before we go into this i believe you could get this on cult beauty and booty bay it's 29 pounds which is a ridiculous price for a highlighter just one single highlighter but i bought it so what can i say <laughs> if it's as good as everyone says it is then you know maybe it's worth it i don't know but it was 29 pounds and that's a lot of money. This is supposed to be an ultra smooth formula with a radiant finish. So it's supposed to be really glowy from what I've seen online. It looks really nice on the skin and it doesn't accentuate texture, but obviously we're gonna be trying that out today. I'm just excited to get this on my face and I'm currently not wearing any highlighter. This is just like my foundation glow. This set, I did use an illuminating finishing powder. I used the Revolution Pro Skin Finish in Luminescence. So I think that's why my skin's looking a little bit shiny and dewy, but honestly, it is set. That's what that looks like. It's kind of like a baked powder, but anyway, let's get on to the important stuff. Can I just say, I love the packaging on this. It's like a matte black with rose gold. It's so freaking pretty. I kind of don't want to get rid of the box. But let's open this baby up. The packaging is a shiny black with the same rose gold. Mm, I'm so excited. I don't know. I'm going to open it. To you guys first so you guys get to see you guys ready ignore my badass nails but oh my gosh oh my god that almost looks icy in the viewfinder let me look at it it looks so smooth in the pan like a literal wave on the sand this color actually doesn't look like it would be that bad it actually looks like it will work with my skin the only real reason why i was worried is because it is just one shade i don't usually come under the category things that are like made for all don't usually suit me because they usually do dark but this actually looks kind of promising so i'm super excited to try it for the first ever time. I've got this brush which is from BH Cosmetics and it came in like a smoky eyeshadow set I think but it's like a super big blending brush it's the number one from the set and I guess well actually no I'm gonna swatch it first because I want to know what it feels like okay but I also really don't want to mess up this wave this magical thing that's happening in here okay I'm gonna Ooh. Okay, it's not as soft as I thought it would be, but it is pretty. Let's watch it on my skin. Okay, when I turn to the side, it is slightly darker than my actual skin tone. I don't know if you guys can see it, but only very slightly. Oh, there you go. You can probably see better there. Because my face is darker than my hands, it may look okay. This has like a weird tone to it. So it's like a champagne-y gold. It also has like a bit of silver in there. So I'm going to go in with a brush over top. Just pick up a little bit of the product without ruining it hopefully. I don't know how much I need so I'm just kind of tapping lightly and coating the tip of the brush and we are gonna go on this cheek so this is what it looked like buffle. There's a little bit of shine but nothing too crazy and now we go and add glow. Oh god. What? Oh my god. That is so freaking nice. I get it. I get the hype. Why have I not tried this sooner? Oh my god. Okay, I want to go in with a bit more of a heavy hand. I don't want to ruin you. Oh my gosh, the finish 
is so smooth. This looks gorgeous on the skin. Like it looks like the wet look. It looks like I just walked out of the water and I had glowy, glossy skin and it just looks amazing. Oh my God. Okay, can you see that? It looks a little bit dark now that I've built it up a bit. Damn it. Yeah, you can see it right by there. So that is rather annoying. Again, I said these universal shades don't usually suit me, but I can make it work. If I kind of mix my bronzer and blush in, it won't look as bad. It's just kind of annoying when I look straight on, you can kind of see it. But the glow is gorgeous. It's like only slight and it's... Why am I so pale? <laughs> it's so weird. There's literally like no fallout. I'm going kind of not too heavy handed because, you know, beautiful but I'm like substantially putting my brush over top of this and it's not like kicking up at all it's the weirdest weirdest thing okay, I'm gonna go on the tip of my nose now it's just so smooth on the skin it looks gorgeous it almost looks like it would be a cream product the way it's sitting on the skin it just really melds in yeah if i was to use this i definitely have to like bring my blush up to meet the highlight so it doesn't look as obvious it's not bad it just adds that shadow if that bothers you then it's gonna bother you but it is a stunning tone and i do really love the effect that it gives on this like look at that so i'm just gonna swatch it on my hand a little bit more so you guys can see it more that's what it looks like on my hand Again, super duper pretty, but it's just a little bit too dark. Whereas the Doll Beauty one, I'll swatch that next to it. It's a similar kind of tone, but it's just lighter and it works better for my skin. So on top is the Anastasia and on the bottom is the Doll Beauty. They have a similar sheen and a similar color. It's just the tones and it's just the undertone that I need because it's got that darker undertone it's not gonna look as poppy on me it's just not gonna do that because I'm <laughs> I'm too pale but and I've got a tan this is gonna look amazing and I cannot wait to use it then but I'm just gonna add a little bit of my doll beauty one now because I want a bit more pop look at that on top this just creates a similar kind of glow and it's got a similar texture but it just works on paler skin that that's literally it oh this is also 10 pounds and that was 29. Glow into the heavens. Okay guys, so that is it for this quick little video. <laughs> I say quick, I've still been filming for 20 minutes. I thought I'd keep this short and sweet considering this is not a new release. It's just something I really wanted to try and I wanted to give my kind of thoughts on and see if it would actually suit pale skin. If you're as pale as me, it doesn't really, but you could possibly make it work with a little extra blush and bronzer or fake tan. And that, ladies and gents, is the story of my life. <sighs> I hope you guys enjoyed this silly little quick video. If you want to see more of me and you want to see some of my other videos, which I got a plenty, but if you want to keep up with my new and fresh videos, then don't forget to hit the little subscribe button down below and also hit the bell button, which will let you know when I've uploaded. If you love highlight like I do, then don't forget to hit the little like button because every like leaves a little sparkle in my life. God, I'm so cringy. What the hell is wrong with me? <laughs> I hope you guys are having a wonderful day wherever you are in the world. Hope you stick around for the next one. And yeah, till then. Bye guys. Oh, that was so satisfied. Hi everyone. Oh, get out of my lash. So if you have... That was rude. That was my stomach. Oh, it's so cute. Uh, I say quick, I've still been... I say quick, I'm... I say quick, I've... If you want to see the little, someone help.